National Capital Authority acknowledges the traditional custodians of this land. We pay our respects to Elders past and present. Thank you for sharing and caring for the land that we learn and play on. Hi everyone, I'm Tash and this is Little Griffins. Today we're visiting some very special gardens here in Canberra. These are the old Parliament House Gardens. They're here for everyone to enjoy. It doesn't matter if you live in Canberra or if you're just here visiting for a few days, the gardens are a wonderful place to spend some time. They're absolutely full of beautiful roses. They look and smell wonderful. Have you ever smelt a rose before? It's a very nice thing to do. How many different coloured roses can you see here? I can see some orangey yellow ones. I can see some purple ones. I can see some white roses, some red roses, and even some pink roses. Let's go have a closer look at one of these roses. Do you know the names of the different parts of the flowers? Let's go find out together. What a beautiful red rose. Do you know what these parts are called? These are the leaves. What about this part here? This is the stem of the flower. Be careful though, because roses have spiky bits on their stems and we call these prickles or thorns. Watch out for your fingers, they're very sharp. What about these parts of the flowers? These are the petals. They're very soft to touch, but we have to be very careful because the petals are quite delicate and we don't want to hurt the flower. Roses need a few things to grow and be happy. They need sunlight, they need water, and they need soil to grow in. Sunlight is like food for plants. We also give our roses a special type of food called fertilizer every so often. You'll know if you've been to a garden that's just been fertilized because it will be really stinky. <sighs> but most of the time, gardens smell absolutely wonderful because of all of these flowers. Being in a garden is a wonderful feeling for the whole body. There's lots of things to see, lots of things to smell, things to hear, but I probably wouldn't taste anything in this garden. But if you have a garden at home and if you grow fruit trees or if you have a vegetable patch, you could ask a grown up if it's safe for you to eat the things that you've grown. What sounds can you hear in the garden? Do the flowers make sounds? No, the flowers don't make sounds. But when the wind blows, I can hear the bushes rustling. I can also hear some bees buzzing and some birds calling. And you know, I think I can even hear some water gurgling. Do you have a garden at your home? Do you have any roses in your garden? Maybe if you can't come to visit the old Parliament House gardens, you could go for a walk around the streets where you live. You could see if you can spot any roses or other types of flowers. Maybe you could count the different types of flowers that you see or the different colors. Have a good listen while you go for your walk as well. What sounds can you hear? Maybe you'll be able to hear some insects humming. Maybe you'll hear some birds calling or some dogs barking. Maybe people will hear you because you'll be singing some songs about roses. Shall we learn a song about roses together? It's such a beautiful day, I think we should do our singing and dancing outside. Afterwards, I'll show you how to make your own rose out of an old egg carton. And of course, we'll play with some Duplo. We can make a Duplo garden together. Now, are you ready to do some singing and dancing? All right, everyone, put your arms up like a nice big rose. Now, you might know the tune for this song. 
It's based on Frere Jaca, but we've written our own words and this one's about roses. Now, grown-ups, you can find the words to the song on our website, as always, so you can print them out and learn them together. All right, let's get those rosy arms up. Planting roses, planting roses in the ground, in the ground. Sun and water make them grow, sun and water make them grow all around, all around. Nice work, everyone. And again, arms up. Planting roses, planting roses in the ground, in the ground. Sun and water make them grow, sun and water make them grow all around, all around. Nice work, everyone. And we've got one more song, and this one also should sound familiar. You might know it as I'm a Little Teapot, but here we're little garden beds. So put your arms out in front of you to be the garden bed and off we go again. I'm a little garden, flowers in a row, pour some water, watch them grow. When the sun is shining, up they go, raindrops on the petals seem to glow. Well done. And one more go, arms out to be a garden. I'm a little garden, flowers in a row, pour some water, watch them grow. When the sun is shining, up they go, raindrops on the petals seem to glow. We've got our nice raindrops shining on petals. Well done everyone. Now, should we go get out the craft materials? Now I'm going to show you how to make your own rose out of an old egg carton. So the first thing to do is some cutting. So remember to ask a grown up for help with this. I'm going to cut four of the individual egg sections in one chunk together. So one, two, three, four. Now, it's a little bit tricky to cut through egg cartons sometimes, but don't worry if it looks a little bit messy because we're going to neaten it up. Looks pretty messy now, but that's okay. So we're going to neaten it up by cutting off these extra bits around the edge. So I'm just going to do a little snip here, one here, I'm giving my flower quite nice round edges. Nearly done. There we go, that looks all right. Now we can, oh, might take just this little extra bit off. And we're going to keep the centerpiece nice and long here. Now, our next step is to make it nice and red. So I have some paint here and I'm going to put a little dollop of paint inside each of the four petals. These egg carton bits are going to be the petals. So just like this, then I'm getting my paintbrush and I'm spreading the paint all around. Now, I've chosen to do a red rose, but you don't have to do a red rose. You could do whatever color you want. All right, nearly done with my painting. I just want to spread the paint all around. I especially want to get the middle section covered in paint because this will show through at the end. When I'm finished with my paintbrush, I'm going to put it somewhere safe so I don't get paint on my table, my clothes. And here we go, here's the first step. Next, we're going to make some petals out of the cellophane and the crepe paper that we have here. So I'm going to rip up the cellophane and have a few strips, in four in fact, for our four petals. Three, and, oh, that's only a small one, but that's okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my 
tissue paper. So I might do one big rectangle first and then turn that into four smaller bits. One. Two, three, and four. Just gonna fold this out to get up to get it out of the way. Right, now I'm going to get one piece of tissue paper and one piece of cellophane, and I'm going to hold them together, and I'm going to scrunch them up into a nice little ball like this. Now I have some glue here and I'm going to put a little dab of glue in the center of each of my four petals on my egg carton. And once I've done that, I'm going to stick my petals in like this. Here we go. There's my second petal. So it looks like this so far. And I'm going to do a third dollop of glue. Scrunch, 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 scrunch. Nice small ball. In it goes. And my fourth and final dollop of glue. Now I'm going to put my lid back on my glue. So I don't accidentally knock it over. And scrunch, 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 scrunch. There's my fourth petal. There we go. Now, I think I'm going to give my flower a centerpiece up here. And I've got a nice gold button. And you know what? I put the lid on my glue too soon because I'm going to use it again. I'm going to put a little dollop this time on the top of my flower. Just a small amount. And then my button is going to go on top. So it looks like this. And now my flower needs something else. I'm going to get two green pipe cleaners and we're going to make a stem and some leaves. So our first pipe cleaner is going to be the stem and our second one, we're going to bend it in half and let's twist these ends together. Then I'm going to fold it in half again and I'm going to twist in the middle. So I have two leaf shapes. Then we'll get our stems and can position the leaves wherever you want. I'm going to wrap my stem around my leaves and I'm very nearly done. I just need to stick my stem and the leaves to my flowers, flower petal. So I'm going to use my sticky tape. I'm going to cut and I'm going to turn my flower over and I want to put one piece of tape up the top so it goes across the egg carton down to the pipe cleaner and back up and I have my very own rose in fact if you wanted you could create a whole garden full of flowers you could use the rest of the egg carton to make some flowers of some different colours and put them all together to make your own garden. All right, folks, you know what's next. It's time for Duplo. All right, everyone, we have one last thing to do together today at Little Griffins. We're going to build a Duplo garden together. Do you have your Duplo ready? Let's go.
How many flowers did you make? I made one, two, three. Three roses. I have an orange one, a yellow one, and a red one. Just like the ones that we saw in the old Parliament House gardens today. Well folks, that's all we have time for today at Little Griffins. But thanks so much for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye.